When it comes to burgers, more often than not, when you go out to eat, I find that too much time is spent focused on the patty, the sauce, and the sides, and the burger bun ends up being completely forgotten about. Well, we're bringing it to the forefront today. First things first, this isn't a how to make a burger video. We are focusing solely on the bun here. I'm starting with the dough and the first thing I'm gonna do is the Tang Zong. This burger bun is basically the love child of a soft, fluffy Hokkaido milk bread and a rich, buttery brioche. The Tang Zong is made up of 100 ml of whole milk and 20 grams of strong white flour. In a small pan, I add the flour and the milk and give everything a mix together just to help prevent lumps from forming later on. Then I'm gonna place the pan over a gentle heat and cook the milk and flour mixture, stirring all the time until the flour gels up and thickens into this starchy paste. It's this paste that's gonna help the dough retain extra moisture during cooking, keeping it super soft after baking. And the Tang Zong is done, I transfer it into a small bowl and put it to one side to cool slightly. Then before I get rid of the pan, I'm gonna pour in 110 ml of whole milk and give everything a stir just to lift off any Tang Zong paste that may have been left behind, as well as gently warming the milk using the residual heat from the pan. Once I'm happy the milk is warm and any remaining Tang Zong has been rescued, I pour it back into the jug and put it to one side. Now I'm gonna set up a standing mixer with a dough hook and to the bowl, I'm gonna add 300 grams of strong white bread flour, 30 grams of sugar, six grams of salt, 10 grams of dry milk, powder, seven grams of dry yeast, one large egg, 110 grams of that whole milk I warmed in the pan earlier, and then follow all of that with the Tang Zong. I'm gonna mix this on a medium speed for about 10 minutes until all the ingredients are well combined and kneaded to a soft, smooth looking dough. Then I'm gonna add 100 grams of unsalted butter to the dough and mix on a medium speed again until all the butter is incorporated and I have a super soft, super smooth, luxurious looking dough, which should take about five more minutes. Once the dough is ready, I'm gonna remove it from the bowl, turn it out onto a board and shape it into a smooth ball for proving. You can achieve this by dragging the dough towards you as if you were raking in your poker chips from a winning hand. But if you find this dough too sticky to hand you can use this same technique using your dough scraper. Once I've smoothed out the dough, I place it into a large mixing bowl, cover it and leave it to prove until it has doubled in size. This often takes a little longer than you think as the dough is pretty enriched at this stage. Mine took about two hours at 20 degrees C. So you might wanna go and do something else and check back in a bit. Now the dough has doubled in size, I'm gonna stick it into the fridge overnight to slow down the fermentation and develop that flavor a little bit more in these buns. But if you're in a rush, feel free to skip this step and move straight on to the next. So it's the next morning and the dough is out of the fridge and it is looking good. I'm gonna be making six burger buns today, so I remove the dough from the mixing bowl, weigh the whole thing on the scale, and then using my incredible mental arithmetic, divide that weight by six, which gives me approximately 115 grams per bun. I cut the dough up into six pieces, adjusting each one as necessary to get them all to 115 grams evenly. You can eyeball it if you want, but if you fancy consistent buns, break out the scales, the ROI on the time is well worth it. Finally, I shape each dough piece into a smooth ball by stretching out the edges, folding them into the center, flipping them over, and then giving them a few little karate chops to the base to tighten things up. Then I finish them off with a little roll around to tighten and smooth the top. I'm just creating extra tension in the dough here using my fingers and thumb to tuck the dough bit by bit under the ball to create a nice taut bun. Once all the dough balls are shaped, I transfer them to a lined baking sheet, just making sure there's plenty of space between them for when they proof. Then I'm gonna press down each ball slightly to flatten them out as I don't want these to be too tall once they've baked. Then I just cover them to stop them from drying out while they prove for the next hour or so, or until they've doubled in size. Just make sure you have something big enough to cover them and still have enough space for when they puff up. This box wasn't gonna do the job, so in the end, I just stuck them inside my oven. It was off, of course, and I left them to prove it there. It worked like a charm. As you can see, these little dudes right here are nice and puffy and no signs of drying out whatsoever. Each bun gets a gentle glaze of beaten egg to give them that little extra sparkle. Then, if you feel like there aren't quite enough allergens in your buns, you can sprinkle over a generous amount of sesame seeds for that classic burger bun look or just keep them plain because both ways look great into the oven at 180 degrees c and bake for 15 minutes until golden and gorgeous you can see here a few of my buns are giving each other just a little kiss and that's great we love love in this house but you can avoid this by just spacing them apart a little bit further during the proving stage once you've taken some vanity shots for the gram <coughs> follow me these buns can be placed on a wire rack, brushed with melted butter for that little extra shine, and then left to cool. The end result should be something like this, beautiful even browning, soft crust, even softer crumb, but still have enough spring in it to allow it to bounce back. Giving you that integral structure and support that I know we're all looking for in our burger buns right down to the last bite. I know I said this wasn't gonna be a how to make a burger video, and it's not, but I thought it would be rude to not give them a test run. So I'm gonna toast them off in a pan and build them up with a little bit of sauce, salad, smash burger or two, 
to cheese, bacon, pickles, or you can even knock up a little hot chicken tender burger. You see, these buns are just so versatile. Now, I'm definitely of the opinion that burgers aren't really done well here in the UK. I just don't think we have the culture for great burgers. And now looking back at this footage, mine are no exception. I think if I'd given it a bit more thought, I'd have melted the cheese properly, maybe slapped on some more sauce. But I'm so hyper-focused on these buns, I'm just gonna let it slide for now. Because even with all that said, these burgers still look fucking amazing. And it's all down to these buns. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. YouTube seems to think you'll enjoy this video next, so why not find out? I'll see you in the next one.